Hi everyone, let's look at the saving systems available in the vegetation engine when converting prefabs. And uh, you might ask, saving systems? I thought there is only one. Uh, actually, there are two saving systems, so let's look at them today. So, I imported the Azure Nature by uh, Regis. I hope I pronounce uh, the name correctly. And let's go ahead and uh, convert these two prefabs uh, directly in the scene. I will just select them, open the converter, and as you can see, uh, the prefab converter automatically detects uh, the correct preset for this asset. And I will go ahead and press convert. Once converted, uh, the vegetation engine will create two new folders uh, that are matching the, the prefab names. And inside, uh, the new assets used by the vegetation engine are uh, saved. Uh, this is all uh, okay, but some people uh, want to clean up the asset after conversion. For instance, the original materials, uh, the original uh, meshes and the shaders after conversion will not be used anymore. So it can be quite tedious to uh, manually uh, clean up the asset after conversion. The other issue is that you might want to reuse materials from one uh, prefab to another. By default, uh, TV will save uh, each prefab uh, with uh, its own folder. And uh, if I go and uh, change one of the materials, as you can see, only this one is change, changed. So in order to reuse the materials, you will need to go search for that material and assign it uh, to the other uh, prefab uh, and uh, don't forget to uh, save the overrides otherwise TV might have issues uh, if the prefab is, uh, is reconverted you might have issues and if you go to the TV prefab uh, script you will see a warning uh, saying that the prefab have has overrides. So always go ahead and apply the overrides after uh, you do these changes. All right, let's go ahead and uh, revert these prefabs and uh, let's look at the new saving system called collect converted data. I will open the converter and uh, revert the prefabs and uh, uh, near the convert button, you will see a small drop down and you can select convert and collect. If I go ahead and uh, select it, if you go to the advanced settings, you will see the collect converted data checkbox is enabled. So what this does is to uh, simply enable or enable uh, disable this collect converted data. and uh, with convert collected data, TV, instead of saving a, a folder uh, near the prefab, it will save all the new assets and the prefabs to a new folder. And if the copy original textures and save prefabs as new are checked, uh, TV will save those assets uh, without uh, having a connection to the original assets. So you can, after conversion, you can delete the original asset and uh, you will have all the converted assets in one place. So let's look at the settings. Uh, copy original textures. With copy original textures, all the original textures uh, from the assets will be copied to a new uh, folder created by TV. With save prefabs as new, uh, all the prefabs uh, will be copied to a new folder uh, instead of reusing uh, the old uh, prefab. Now, uh, if your scene is already populated with these prefabs, uh, you might want to uncheck uh, this toggle uh, 
in order to keep the references to those uh, prefabs. Uh, show material sharing dialog. Uh, this one will ask you if you want to share the common materials or not when converting a, a prefab. Uh, and show folder selection dialog. Uh, this will uh, ask you where to save the assets. If uh, this one is unchecked, uh, TV will reuse the latest folder uh, where you saved uh, the assets previously. Okay, let's go and uh, reconvert uh, these uh, prefabs. I will uh, hide those uh, these uh, advanced settings and press convert and collect. And uh, you will need to create a new folder uh, to save all the new assets. In this case, I will go and uh, create a new folder called art and uh, inside I will create a new folder called Azure Azure Nature and select the folder. So right now TV is asking me if I should share the common materials or not, if I want to reuse the same materials for these two trees or not. And in this case I will go to share common materials. Now, uh, as you can see in the art Azure Nature uh, folder, uh, two new uh, prefabs are saved and if you select the, the prefabs in the scene, they are not the same with uh, these two prefabs. Uh, they are the original prefabs and in the new folder, because we selected to save prefabs as new, two new prefabs are created. And now if I drag these two uh, prefabs in the scene, if I change one of the materials, both share the uh, same materials because we selected to share the common materials. If, however, you want to uh, have uh, unique materials for each prefab, you can go reconvert it, select the same folder, and do not share the common materials. So I will choose no. Uh, keep converted materials will ask me if uh, it should keep the converted materials if they exist. Uh, in this case, uh, they don't exist, so I will choose no. But uh, I can al also choose keep converted materials and if TV will not find them, we'll create them. And now, since I didn't choose to share the common materials, uh, these materials used on these three are different. Let's look at the folder uh, structure created by uh, TV. So inside the uh, folder we just created, uh, we see the, the two uh, prefabs and we also see this uh, folder called SSData. Inside SSData we have uh, the backup data. Uh, these are the prefabs used uh, when you revert the, the actual prefabs. Original data. Uh, TV is copying the original textures uh, to this folder. Prefabs data. We have the same folders uh, as the prefabs and inside we have uh, the meshes. In this case because we share the the we, we selected to share the materials for the first uh, prefab. Uh, the, the, materials, the materials are, are saved to the uh, share data. And inside the prefab data, we only have the meshes. But for the second one, because we choose to not share the materials, we have the meshes, the materials, and the texture uh, created by TV. After the prefabs are converted, you can create new folders and uh, reorganize uh, these prefabs if you want, or you can 
uh, from the start you can create uh, separate folders for each prefab type and convert them uh, inside those uh, folders. Now, uh, I said that uh, with uh, copy original texture and uh, save prefabs as new, uh, the assets uh, will not be connected to the original assets. However, if you have some scripts on the original prefabs, TV will not get those dependencies. But uh, I never saw any vegetation assets with uh, scripts on them, so it should be fine. We can go ahead and delete the uh, original asset. And as you can see, the original assets uh, are not available anymore, but the converted pre prefabs are uh, still uh, here. If you ever want to revert these prefabs and or reconvert them, you will need to re-import the original assets uh, asset because without it, uh, the prefabs will be reverted to the original prefab, but uh, all the shaders, materials, uh, textures, meshes will not be uh, be av available anymore. So your uh, prefab will just uh, break. My advice when uh, using uh, collect converted data is to create a new project used only for conversions, uh, import the assets, convert them, then uh, simply export uh, the folder as a package without dependencies, uh, export it, and then simply re-import uh, the package to your project. I will jump now to HDRP and uh, re-import uh, these assets. All right, I'm in HDRP, I will import the package. And uh, now if I drag the prefabs uh, into the scene, you will see that uh, the materials are uh, not uh, looking quite uh, right. That's because in HDRP, uh, some materials properties are uh, not updated if you import from uh, the built-in render pipeline or from URP. If you are working only with the built-in render pipeline or URP, uh, you will not have uh, any issues. In this case, the faces are not set, uh, set to double-sided. If I go and uh, select uh, the material and expand the material, those properties will be uh, updated, but you don't want to go through all uh, the prefabs and uh, expand all the materials. Instead, you can open the material uh, settings window and uh, under the presets, uh, choose validate all project materials. This will uh, go through all the uh, TV materials in the project and uh, will update those materials if needed. So I will choose validate all project materials. And uh, now uh, all these materials are upgraded. So that's about it, the saving systems. Uh, there isn't anything super complicated. I know some of you uh, will find it super useful. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.